Good morning, families of God. This is the fourth Sunday of Christmas and we are getting ready for worship. There are even other friends in the sanctuary with me who are preparing their musical offering for today. I have lit our Advent wreath with four blue candles, which reminds us that we are in fact getting really close to Christmas. And so before I share the children's message with you, I just wanna remind you of our Christmas Eve worship schedule. We'll be worshiping in the sanctuary at three, five, and seven. Our five o'clock service from the sanctuary will be live streamed and shared online with you on Facebook and YouTube. So I hope you'll join us on Christmas Eve and be part of our Christmas Eve worship and celebration. All three services will have Holy Communion and be candlelight services. So this morning, this is the children's message for the fourth Sunday of Advent. And I want to talk with you about sanctuary because that's today's theme. When you come to worship, if you come into the church building, we gather in the sanctuary. If you gather at home, maybe your, your family have created kind of a worship space in your living room or around your, your kitchen table, and that's become your sanctuary. But I wanna invite us to stop and consider what a sanctuary really is. Is it just a space? Is it a feeling inside our hearts? What does the word sanctuary mean? So there's an ancient language called Latin, and the word sanctuary comes from the Latin word sanctus, which means holy. And so when we come into a sanctuary, or when we experience sanctuary, we're drawing closer to the holy. And that makes sense, because when we worship, we gather around things and places and promises that God has told us God will be with us. God is holy, and so when we come to worship, we gather around God's word, where we receive Jesus into our hearts more closely. We gather around the sacraments of holy baptism and holy communion, where Jesus promises to really be present, to really show up. And what's really important to me about worship is that we gather with one another. In God's community, we experience God coming closer to us. So sanctuary, when we talk about it as a church, is when we're drawing closer to those places where God has promised to be, word, sacrament, and community. But you know, I experience sanctuary in other places outside the church building too, and I bet you do too. I bet some of your parents and grandparents do too. The fourth candle of Advent this week is the sanctuary candle and the love candle. And when I think about that word holy, and experiencing holiness in the sanctuary of the church. What I really think we're talking about is experiencing God's love, God's love drawing closer to us. So all of these candles really point us to the fact that God's love is brighter and stronger than any day of sadness. God's love is brighter and stronger than any challenge we will face. God's love is brighter and stronger and powerful enough to conquer and defeat absolutely everything. That's the promise of Jesus. Jesus, who is born on Christmas Day, who we will celebrate in Christmas Eve worship, has the power to conquer sin, death, and anything that separates us from God and God's love. So this morning, I want you to think about where you experience God's love coming closer to you where you experience sanctuary. Maybe it's right here at Christ Lutheran in the pews. Maybe it's in your home or when you step off of the school bus and you see your mom's arms or your dad's arms wide open to welcome you back from a good day at school. Maybe it's in the playground or on a stage where you perform an instrument that you love or on a field where you really just feel safe and like you belong. Talk with your families about where you experience sanctuary and feel God's love. So why don't we share a prayer together? Good and loving God, we give you thanks that the light of your son is coming closer to us. Prepare us to be sanctuaries to be places where your love is seen in the world. And 
provide us with sanctuary, especially on those days that are challenging, hard, scary, when we just kind of feel lost. Lead us to a place, to your sanctuary, where we are reminded that we are named, claimed, loved, and belong to you through the power of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, God's peace be with you today, and I hope to see you either here in this sanctuary or worship with you online later today. God's peace.